Welcome to our channel Date Speaks. In this channel, we will provide information regarding various events occurred on a specific date through our videos. In this video, date 14th October speaks about scientific inventions occurred. First, we will talk about first supersonic flight. In 1947, Chuck Yeager, a World War II fighter pilot, became the first human to fly faster than the speed of sound, breaking through the sound barrier in a rocket-powered Bell XX-1 airplane over Muir Lake, Dry Lake, California. The four rocket motors of this tiny needle-nose research craft could gulp an entire supply of fuel in two and a half minutes. To save fuel, the Bell XX-1 was carried aloft by a B-29 then released and Yeager fired its rocket. At 37,000 feet, the XX-1 flew well but began to buffet as it approached the sound barrier. When an airplane travels at the speed of sound, the air particles ahead are compressed into an invisible wall of thick air. Others flying with less powerful engines could not push through this wall with hazardous and deadly results. Yager succeeded. Now we will talk about Pasteur's rabies vaccine. In 1885, after 15 year old Jean Baptiste Jupil was severely beaten while with his bare hands, he killed an attacking rabbit dog to protect five other young shepherds in Villers Farley, France. He shortly became the second person treated by Louis Pasteur's experimental vaccine for rabies. He was fortunate to be taken to Pasteur's laboratory. Pasteur's collaborator, Emile Rox, had thought of attenuating the power of the infection by exposing strips of fresh spinal marrow taken from a rabbit that had died of rabies to dry sterile air for various lengths of time. The vaccine was a small piece of marrow ground up and suspended in sterilized broth. He had first been used on Joseph Meester on 6 July 1885. By 12 April 1886, 726 people had been treated. Now we will talk about outer space telecast. In 1968, the first outer space live telecast was beamed through Apollo 7 in orbit. Captain Walter Skira Jr., Major Don Isley, and Major Walt Cunningham sought views of the satellite and views through the windows. The primary objectives for the Apollo 7 engineering test flight were simple demonstrate command or service module and crew performance, demonstrate crew or space vehicle and mission support facilities performance during a manned CSM mission. Demonstrate CSM rendezvous capability. The Apollo 7 was launched on 11 October 1968 for nearly 11 days. The command module was run through numerous tests and was recovered after a 260 hour flight and 163 orbits. Now we will talk about gene therapy. In 1993, Dr. Michael J. Walls of the Howard Hughes Medical Institute announced that cystic fibrosis can be corrected by gene therapy. If you like our content, please like and share our videos and also subscribe our channel Date Speaks.